All right, people, welcome back to the Coach's Desk. I'm your host, Coach Minzy, and we are here again in another video. And we're happy that you're here with us. I'm um, just tuning in to hear what we have to say, read, track, and feel. So, I was doing a live last evening, right? And uh, there was an emergency that I had to take care of. I do apologize um, to the persons who were on the live. Hence the reason I'm going to do this video just to finish up the conversation. All right. So let's talk about it. So it is Stephen Francis to coach international star. Or the fans are saying that he should not. You know what I mean? And uh, there, there's a divide where that is concerned. Yeah. But um, just, just, just to fill you in a little bit, Stephen Francis is contracted by Nike, right? He's contracted by Nike and he is obligated, so to speak, to coach Nike-affiliated athletes or athletes that are signed to Nike, right? So if Nike make a request or makes a request for him to actually train an international athlete then there definitely could be no objection now if he's at his club and he possibly has his coat and he, he does not want to then he probably could deny um that request which i believe he, he would have been doing over the years right because of his the plethora of stars that he would have had in his camp at the time now shelley and fraser price wanted to leave at some point in time and she could not leave because apparently her contract stipulated that, you know, Stephen Francis is the only night coach in the island, so he has to train. And, and, and I'm not quoting. I'm just speculating in this one. All right, but I, I know it is close to the truth. All right, so that's the situation. Now, with the latest development, it is, in, it is saying that Elaine might leave or if she possibly has already left, um, she can't be trained, if, especially if she changes her, 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 her shoe sponsor, right? So that is the situation. So with, with a possibility that Stephen lose this big international champion, Elaine Thompson era, right? It is indicative of them to get back another star. Hence the reason a lot of people are speculating that this could be Shakira Richardson because she has been, quote-unquote, not living up to expectation and they believe that the only man that can get her to that feat is a Stephen Francis. No, the fans are, are, are livid because of what uh, that news that is out, that Nike has made a request for... Uh, Stephen to coach an international star. Now, there are a lot of Nike athletes out there. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Persons have linked this international star to Shakira Richardson. Um, so, the, the, the fact of the matter is that the fans are livid and they don't want Stephen to coach Shakira. But, as I said initially in this video, this man is contracted to Nike. Right? So if Nike make a request for him to coach whichever Nike athlete, as long as it's in his purview, he should be able to do it, right? So I, I don't want us to get all emotional. Yes, we know that the young lady possibly would have said a lot of things. She, 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 she would have tweeted a lot of things, but that's not, that's not the nature of it. The nature of it is that Stephen Francis is a businessman. Stephen Francis is contracted by Nike. A matter of fact, um, a lot of international athletes would have been already training in Jamaica by Stephen Francis himself, right? Um, Dwayne Chambers used to train with him. A, 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 a few others uh, trained with him from the Caribbean and so forth. Uh, over at the racers, there are a lot of athletes who would have not been Jamaica, Jamaicans who would have trained there. A matter of fact, let's take it a little bit further. Many times, Jamaican athletes get scholarships 
go abroad and some of them they matriculate to the senior ranks uh, to the professional ranks and they are trained by americans currently two of our brightest stars in christopher taylor and ashanti moore they are being coached in america by americans and you probably can correct me if i'm wrong reina reda is coaching christopher taylor are you saying that he should not coach christopher taylor to beat the fast americans are you saying that uh lance Brahman should not coach shawnee miller and ashanti moore to beat the americans come on people let's let's think this through because i mean i know persons are saying that anybody else except shakiri why well, people will say she has been disrespectful, she has been that, she has been that. But the fact of the matter is that she has been doing this before this scenario came up. So are you going to say that she should not? Are you going to say that, hey, because you would have uh, disrespected uh, the country, you should not? Let me tell you something from what I've understand is that this young lady would have been making frequent trips to Jamaica. So she's no stranger to, stranger to Jamaica. Probably a lot of you might see even see her and don't even know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So 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 let's put all that aside. A matter of fact, the fans can talk all they want. I think the decision is up to Nike and Stephen Francis, and we are all speculating that it is Shakiri. We don't know that it is her. You know what I mean? So, 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 so let us look at the big picture. This man coaches for a living. If he decides to turn down the, 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 the night persons, especially with the pressure that he's under right now because his Nike athlete numbers are dwindling down. So because he's under the pressure, you, you don't you believe that he should uh, forego because it's Shakiri? I don't know. Also, could this be a publicity stunt by the sponsors and by the coach? So, you know, hmm, think about it. Fastest woman alive is going to leave this particular camp and the... Hmm. Can I say here to the throne or wannabe or pretender <laughs> Shakiri would be coached by one of the greatest, if not the greatest, sprint coach? Would that be a, 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 a telling situation for me to reconsider leaving the club? Because I don't want this young lady to beat me. Is she able to beat me if I switch camp? Hmm. These are the questions probably probably the athlete is asking. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, it, 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 it is indeed a business move for Stephen Francis. It could be a great move for Shakiri if it is her. You know what I mean? There are a lot more Nike athletes out there and it says international star. Is Shakiri an international star? <laughs> is she? Some people will say she is. Some people will say she's not. But the fact of the matter is, it could possibly be her. Because I believe that Nike wants as best as possible to dethrone the Jamaicans. And they, that, that's why they're hyping up uh, Shakiri that much. Because they want all the attention to be on the american they want the american to be on top of the game and to get stephen francis to coach her it's a possibility that she'd be on top of the game probably in another two years yeah so it's a pretty interesting story people very very interesting i don't know i i, I know that you 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 love your country. You don't want to be upstaged by the Americans, but could this be the move 
that Shakiri would have wanted. A lot of people say, you know, this will not work because she's not disciplined enough. And we heard otherwise that she's a very disciplined athlete when it comes on to her training regime. No doubt about it. People are kind of misunderstanding her outside of track and field because she posts a lot. Have we ever seen her in training? Do we know her, her routine? Well, I've heard that she's a very disciplined uh, uh, athlete. She works hard. That's what I've heard. Until I, I hear otherwise, I'm going to stick by that. So Chuck and Field fans, I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. What are your thoughts? You already share it. But could this harm Jamaica's track and field? Could this harm our legacy? Could this allow the paradigm to shift from us being the sprint capital and dominating the women's track and field for a number of years? Will it now shift to one pretender, Shikari? Richardson, if she's the one that many are saying will be coming to Jamaica to train in the MVP camp. I don't know if it will switch things because will one year under Stephen Francis allow her to be world championship, world champion? Hmm. Or will she have to wait another two or three years for or another Olympic? Because you have to get a, a adopted or you have to adopt, adapt to the system or the philosophy of a Stephen Francis. Is, is she that trainable to adapt so quickly? That's another thing we don't know. And these are all speculations, people. We still don't know who the person is. Until then... I can probably theorize it could be a ploy. It could be a publicity stunt to get Elaine to remain at MVP because they're going to see Shikari as a huge threat if she gets some of the Steve Francis training regime, training philosophy. Let us see. I want you to share your thoughts down below in the comment section and we'll definitely have a conversation in the comment section on what are your thoughts. So, will the paradigm shift if Stephen gets a hold of Shikari?